Hey there, real estate enthusiast. Buckle up for a thrilling ride into the inside scoop of Marin County's real estate market for November. Packed with statistics you won't find anywhere else. And I've got a prediction coming up at the end of this video that you won't want to miss. So let's get to it. If you're thinking of buying or selling a home in Marin, reach out to me. I'm a past California attorney turned realtor, and I've lived in Marin County for nearly 30 years and raised three children here. I'd love to help you make a smart move. Just email me. So first, let's start with the homes that were sold during the month of November. 53 of those homes closed below list price on an average of 10% below list. 16 homes closed at about list and 35 homes closed above list with an average of 8% above. Notice the shift? A few months back, more homes were flying off the market at prices more above list price than 8%. Today's trend? A softer, more buyer-friendly market. And guess what? I've got exclusive sold home details in my monthly newsletter, which has addresses, sales prices, and all that jazz. Just comment newsletter below or shoot me an email to get your hands on this gold mine of information that I put out monthly that you won't find anywhere else. And now, let's get on to the charts. Let's talk about days on market. Homes were lounging a tad longer in the market this past month, as you can see right here, which is a little higher than there, so from 35 to 36 days, corresponding to a 2.9% increase. And this particular chart also shows the ratio of the sales price over the original list price. That's the red line here, and you can see that it went from 98 to 97% of asking price. So that's down just a smidge from the prior month. The market's taking a little breather, it seems. And now the information for sold homes, for sale homes, that is the homes that are currently for sale, and the new listings. Yes, there was a dip from October to November in the number of homes that sold, having 206 sell here. This is the dark green bar, by the way, but the number is actually at the bottom. And November's number, which was 143 homes that sold. Again, the green bar, you can see the dip. And what about the total market inventory? That is these light green bars, and that shrunk from 413 down to 307. Okay, in November, sellers are chilling for the holidays, and who can blame them? It's a typical holiday trend. Sellers prefer to enjoy the season rather than engage in the market. Also, new listings, which you see on the blue line here, took a nosedive from 164 here down to 81. If you wanna know the actual percentage changes on all these, they're right over here. And those are some pretty hefty changes, down 25.7% in homes that are for sale, down 50.6% in homes that were newly listed, and down 30.6% in the homes that sold. But like I said, this happens every year. It's a seasonal thing. The holiday spirit is definitely making its mark. Now on to the prices, what you've been waiting for. November saw the average sold price dip by 8.5%. You can see that right here. And obviously this is, like I said, the average price. And it was from October to November. But here's the curveball. The medium price, which are in these blue bars here, as opposed to the average price, which is the red line. Anyway, the blue bars here show that it actually went up from October to November. And the amount, 3.3%. So what gives? This shows how challenging it can be to pin down market trends in a dynamic place like Marin and also a small place like Marin because of our wide range in potential sales prices and that the number of homes that sell each month is just kind of low, not really statistically significant month to month. So when we look at these two things, average and median price, we don't always get a full picture. However, this month we get a significant clue due to a better picture perhaps that is found in the average price per square foot. Take a look at this. We have average per square foot going from 946 down to, oh, that yellow's not too good. Hmm, take it into the blue. Down to 837 price per square feet. That 
is a whopping negative 11.5%. It sure seems like prices are on a bit of a softening trend, and that's the way it has felt for me too as a local realtor. Hey, and if you want more information about living in Marin, you can check out my other videos that I have that talk about different price points in Marin and also the differences in the towns and cities. And now for that prediction I promised. As a former professional stock trader, I know better than to claim that I have a crystal ball. The future is a mystery no matter what anybody says. So always play your cards based on today's hand not on the sure bets you hear from some other realtors and lenders about lower mortgage rates are coming and that will for certain raise home prices again. Both buyers and sellers need to be aware that that's not necessarily what is going to happen. Yes, a recession will likely mean that the Federal Reserve will lower rates and maybe mortgage rates will also fall with that. But don't hold your breath for the change because mortgage rates are actually long-term rates and the Federal Reserve is lowering short-term rates. And while long-term rates may fall too, especially out of the excitement of not being afraid that they're continuing to go up, they don't have to fall point by point with what the Federal Reserve is doing. And what if lower rates does bring on lower mortgage rates, like substantially lower. Might that actually cause a flood of pent up sellers who've been waiting exactly for that to happen so that they can sell their homes, which do have lower mortgage rates, most of them, and then buy somewhere else without paying really high mortgage rates? Huh, so if we have a lot more inventory all of a sudden, will that actually cause higher prices when it might be that we haven't had that much inventory in a long time because it's pent up? Only time will tell. My advice, focus on what makes sense for you right now. Predictions don't really matter much. If you're looking for more information about buying or selling a home, check out these videos right here. Have a great day.